Recently, heavy rains and floods have hit many cities in China again. It seems that the heavy rains and floods have shown no signs of stopping since the 2021 summer. In a northwest province in China, heavy rainfall occurred in eight counties on August 28, with a maximum rainfall of 123 millimeters, and many rivers exceeded the flood limit. On August 29, the authorities opened the dam to release flood water, which caused damage to traffic and roads, electricity and water outages, destruction of farmland, landslides and mudslides in mountainous areas, and destruction of houses. A total of more than 80,000 people were affected. Local residents said, The hydro station released the flood water without advance notice. The flood water gushed into the county in the middle of the night, alarming the residents who woke up in their sleep and did not dare to close their eyes all night. At 11 p.m. on August 31, an orange warning for rainstorms was issued by the meteorological station in Qingdao, Shandong province, a central coastal city in China. The entire city experienced heavy rainfall accompanied by thunder and lightning. Some parts suffered severe heavy rainfall. All nine beach facilities in the city were closed in an emergency. Lots of water was trapped in the indoor areas. The entire scenic site of Mount Lao in Qingdao was also closed. The footage is showing floodwaters pouring down from Mount Lao. According to local meteorological observatory, heavy rainfall was expected in the surrounding cities during the night of August 31 with heavy rainfall ending on September 2. Mount Lao in Chengdao is known as the first immortal mountain on the sea in China from over a thousand years ago. It has been a sacred Taoist site since the Tang and Song dynasties, reaching its peak in the Ming dynasty. At the ancient temple in Mount Lao, one can still occasionally see a mirage. It's a rare sight to see floodwaters invading a Taoist mountain. <laughs> Let's turn our attention to the southwestern part of China, the mountain city of Chongqing, located upstream of the Three Gorges Dam. On August 28th, rainfall poured in the city. On the 29th, the city's hydrological monitoring station announced that the rainfall in six districts and counties along the Yangtze River in Chongqing suffered heavy rainfall and the water level of three rivers exceeded the safety level. The maximum rainfall reached 231 millimeters. On the 29th, a landslide occurred and three residential buildings collapsed instantly. Miss Chen, whose family lived in one of the collapsed houses, told overseas media that at 2 or 3 p.m. on the 29th and before the collapse of the house, there was a giant creature screaming in the mountains across the street. But I don't know what it is. It scared the local villagers. The screaming lasted for a long time. When it was over, the flood came, then the landslide happened. Miss Chen also said that behind the collapsed houses was a ring road. Behind the ring road was a very steep slope. It was surveyed many years ago and said to be prone to landslides. However, the local government did not do anything about it. According to the media in mainland China, areas and counties most affected by the floods in Chongqing are located in the Three Gorges Reservoir area. Dr. Wang Wei Luo, a renowned ecologist living in Germany, has been following the Three Gorges project, South-North Water Transfer, and the changes in water resources in China. China has more than 90,000 reservoirs, including 23,841 large dams, making it the country with the most reservoirs and dams globally. China is one of the countries with the most rivers in the world. 45,000 rivers crisscross the country. Traditional Chinese culture believes that mountains and rivers have life and are sacred. They are not to be offended. Ancient Chinese, thus, did not promote the construction of dams on rivers. Before 1949, when the Chinese Communist Party seized power in mainland China, there were very few dams in China, only about 20 in number. 
they were mainly concentrated in the three northeastern provinces and were built during the Japanese invasion of China. Wang said the reservoirs built by the CCP have destroyed the self-cleaning function of the rivers. In reality, it is like a kind of exchange, exchanging the self-cleaning power of the rivers for electricity. The Three Gorges project has reduced the Yangtze's self-purifying capacity by 80%, which Wang says is the main reason for the poor water quality. He commented that China's drinking water quality is now equivalent to the water coming out of German sewage treatment plants. He gave the example of Beijing's water in 2008 when the Olympic Games were held. Beijing's drinking water was not good enough for the Olympic swimming pool. The drinking water in Beijing had to be treated again to meet the water quality standards of the swimming pools of the World Swimming Federation. This is the current situation in Beijing. Wang says, dirtier and dirtier water is the leading cause of the increased cancer rate amongst the Chinese people, but this only happens to ordinary people. Top CCP officials do not drink it. The 106 standards for drinking water set by the CCP itself has never really been enforced. Coupled with the system of the Chinese medical system, the Chinese are losing out on their health for life. So, is the Chinese government capable of cleaning up the flooding that is happening around the country? After the massive flooding and COVID outbreak in Zhengzhou, the capital city of Henan province, on July 20, 2021, it rained heavily for more than 20 hours on August 29 in many parts of the province. Local people sighed that it was not easy to live in Henan. A video showed that at 1 p.m. on the 29th, the Zhengzhou Seafaring Road Tunnel was closed due to heavy water logging. The heavy rainfall resulted in a big waterfall at the entrance of the tunnel. Some internet users jokingly said, Seafaring Road, true to its name. A villager said the corn stalk is currently rotting in the field of water up to 30 centimeters deep. If the water does not clear, the planting of wheat in November will be a problem. It is said that the field was flooded by the July 20 flood. Previously, on August 19, Chinese Premier Li Keqiang visited Henan province to inspect the disaster. According to the video, Li was not wearing rain boots and tried to touch the flooded crops but was pulled back by people around him. The villagers explained, the previous flood was more than 1.5 meters deep. Almost all the houses were soaked in water and now they have become dangerous buildings and more than half of the houses in the village are unsafe. The secretive release of water from the reservoir at night resulted in a significant flood in Henan, which Chinese Premier Li Keqiang did not mention on any public occasion. The local villagers said, The reconstruction after Li left is very slow, and his visit was just to put on a show.